all right hello guys welcome back to another video this video today was requested by a viewer or a member on my telegram group in my telegram group he asked me to do a video on sdao token <clears throat> so that's what i'm doing today all right so the token is on the ethereum blockchain it's currently at a price of one dollar fifty seven cents <clears throat> and we can see that let's see if we go to we're on coin market cap guys so we can see if we go to the all section of the chart we can go back and see exactly when it was released on or added to coin market cap so if we go back we can see it was added on the 21st of the 5th that's 21st of may 21st of may 2021 so almost a year old and it's still it's still out there so and guys please remember you should always do your own research come to your own conclusions because at the end of the day it's your money that's going to be on the line always do your own research come to your own conclusions and please guys let's not get scammed this year 2022 is the year the year we're, we're all trying to not get scammed okay guys so here we can see it's almost a year old <clears throat> it's on the ethereum blockchain and we all know that most scammers don't go to <clears throat> go to the ethereum blockchain most scammers stay towards or on the binance smart chain so just um the fact that it's on the ethereum blockchain there's a uh, less likely that you'll get scammed on here it's not impossible but it's less likely than if it was on the most cameras seem to prefer the binance smart chain because it's easier gas fees are low and stuff like that so it gets more people interested <clears throat> all right so here we can see he has a 24 hour volume of 8.3 million dollars it also has a market cap of 60 million dollars all right and then if we go to the market section we can see that it's on let's see how many different markets so here we can see that it's on 14 different markets at this point well really 13 because this look like or probably even 12 or 10 or something oh yeah so it's on a couple different markets 14 um, coin market cap is reporting 14 different markets and here we can see let's see which market is the biggest all right so the gate.io market is the biggest <clears throat> next is the cool coin and then pancake swap all right so looks like it's on also on the binance market let's see if we have <clears throat> A section here that shows yes the this section right here so just by me looking at I didn't see the more tab right here but just by me looking at the market I know the buy and pancake swap deals with the Binance smart chain mainly so if I go here I'll see a Binance smart chain wallet address but let's copy this address and see which one but here we can see it says gate.io has that amount but we're gonna check the ethereum because it looks like ethereum is their main their contract on the ethereum is the main one all right but here they provided their white paper so even if we open their white paper in a new window we can see how many pages there are so it shouldn't be too long for you guys to run through these white paper any business any type of investment you guys gonna be getting involved into you should always read the company's white paper the white paper is what usually tells you guys exactly what the business is about where they're gonna be heading towards in the future and where they are currently at the time of um, when they created the white paper all right so there's 29 pages disclaimer let's see forward-looking statement acknowledgments background and motivation and then these are all the um it says to vote either for or against our blanco as singularity dao governance proposal to its voting function all right so this is telling you what the token is about and all right so they can impact the protocol in various ways such as all right so you guys just need to come to here and read and see exactly how the background of this token actually works all right so always read the white paper to find out every single thing there is to find out about the, the these projects all right so if you go to 
Twitter community tab then Twitter let's see how many they've been out almost a year so let's see how many Twitter followers they have so they have a good amount 31,000 followers and let's see how active they are on here so let's see March 28 they retweeted 20 hours ago retweeted 22 hours ago then they tweeted out the 31st that's like three days ago or two days ago then three days ago all right so they're very active on here so you can come to their twitter and see all the announcements they've made on twitter and we're gonna go to the we just want to see how many we're not going to open their telegram we just want to see how many members and here we see that they have 13,900 members on telegram at this moment and over a thousand online uh 13,900 is not a lot for a project that's been out for almost a year but i guess it, it all comes down to how much marketing they've pushed and the project is still around so at least there's a little bit of hope to say yes well it's not like these other projects that start up in a month two months five months and then rug or do something that we don't like as a community but they've almost been around for a year so that's something good for them but let's open their website and while that's loading we should probably just start loading a few tools so we're gonna load explorer.io oh i did not spell that correctly explorer.io and we can also load token sniffer and we're gonna load also let's see let's see i'm not sure if market move um checks i'm not sure if market move checks um ethereum tokens but i'm gonna load it anyways just to see all right so it says total value locked so they're saying there's total value i'm not sure if that that means liquidity but it says total value lock 38.4 million ai powered DeFi porto portfolios to manage assets singularity is a DeFi protocol designed to maximize alpha generation regardless of market trend and you can enter their decentralized app so here's a video stating what is singular singularity dao so let's open this and watch this video together it's Welcome only to one minute 52 DAO. seconds Singularity DAO is a decentralized platform to simplify access to the crypto economy. Governed by the SDAO token tasked with governing Dynasets. What exactly are Dynasets? Dynasets are dynamically managed baskets of tokens, much like hedge funds in traditional finance. Each Dynaset is managed by the Dynamic Asset Manager, which is a combination of human and AI traders. Real artificial intelligences, unlike anything currently found in crypto, will monitor every transaction on the blockchain, scrape social media for sentiment, utilize advanced trading algorithms, and learn how to predict the market. By default, when you deposit crypto assets to a Dynaset, you receive Dynaset LP tokens in your wallet, representing your share of that Dynaset. You then have the option of putting your Dynaset tokens into yield farming pools to earn SDAO governance tokens, which can also be used to earn allocations on the Singularity DAO launchpad. During governance events, the DAO requests that users vote on proposals using liquid democracy, also known as delegative democracy. In effect, this means users can vote directly on proposals or take on a more hands-off approach by delegating their token's voting power to someone else to vote for them. Alongside this, make use of your SDAO tokens by participating in launchpad events to the most promising early-stage projects. From within the Singularity Net ecosystem, as well as many other projects that meet our stringent requirements. Visit singularitydao.ai and make sure you join our Telegram to find out more about the project. all right thank you guys for watching with me so let's close these out uh let's close this window out all right let's scroll down and let's see so provide liquidity this join discord join telegram so it says featured dynaset 
The DYNBTC Dynasit has outperformed the market by nearly 20%. View DYNBTC says easy. The AI power dynamic asset manager pro monitors trends and manages assets. You guys can, the video showed us almost every single thing there is about this token, but let's just scroll through and read a couple things on here. So it says Dynasits. A Dynasit is a dynamically Managed set of assets that our advanced AI and professional traders automatically rebalance to outperform the market, staking for the highest returns, lock your tokens for longer periods of time to receive the best rewards in our bonded staking program. Additionally, we also offer an unbond unbonded staking program if you would like to withdraw at any time. So yield farming. After providing liquidity, farm your liquidity pool tokens to maximize results with highly competitive APR. So it says Launchpad. The Singularity DAO Launchpad will will host only the best new projects. All Singularity Net Ecosystem projects that launches will be available here alongside other external interesting projects. So it says Token Bridge. So Singularity DAO is on a mission to become chain agnostic. Users will be able to bridge to any chain that can benefit from Singularity DAOs. The um, Singularity DAO's suite of De DeFi tools. So use your SDAO or SDAO tokens to vote on Singularity DAO governance events and shape the future of DeFi. And then they're gonna have a dashboard, that's the leadership. And you can read these articles on them. And then contact. So now we're just gonna jump over to these different tools and see the reports that we actually get from them. So Singularity. All right, so here it shows the owner. So we can see that the ownership has not been renounced. And let's see the top holders in here. All right, so 10% of the token supply has been burnt. And we see that one wallet here has 34.6%. I'm not sure which wallet or whose wallet that is. That's 36, 34.6% in just that one wallet. And then we have a couple of other wallets with 65555 then 1.88 all right let's just run this to token sniffer token sniffer will give us kind of a different idea of what's going on but let's just load and we're gonna also look at the bubble map but let's see so it says ownership not renounced 25 out of 100 and adequate liquidity so 197 0.5 ethereum is in uniswap v2 and remember that one ethereum i think is like over three thousand dollars now and here it's saying that not enough liquidity has been locked all right but let's look at their bubble map to see how the bubble map actually looks all right so bubble map looks like it's not working all right, let's click on one down here. Not sure if it's gonna load, if it's gonna allow Token Sniffer to read their um, wallets. All right, so it's not reading. All right, let's use honey swap analysis. So buy tax, sell tax is 0% each. So let's look it on honeypot.is. If we paste the address, I'm not sure if this actually tests Ethereum tokens but we can look and see looks like it does not um check ethereum tokens but is this honeypot because honeypot.is it checks to see if people are actually able to buy and sell different tokens all right so let's jump back over to app that market move that ai we're going to click address and i think app that market move that ai does not um does not load ethereum token so let's load ether scan i'm not typing correctly ether scan that io and let's paste the contract address let's click right there and let's click on the 
Singularity DAO or SDAO. So here we can see that they have 7,500 holders. There's been 9, 9, 96,272 transactions on this um, of this token. And let's see who the top holders are. Here we still see this wallet. I'm not sure who this wallet is, but it's a contracted wallet. It's on a contract, so can't nothing be done to it right at this moment. It can't be sold or anything like that at this moment. And then we have a null address, a dead wallet. That's the burn address with 10%. And then we have a couple more. We have a couple more wallets here. We have a couple more wallet addresses that are all contracts. And then the one with 1.8 percent that's with KuCoin then gate.io so my guess is some of these i'm going to guess that some of these wallets here that are contracted i'm going to guess that there are some of these um for some of these like for uniswap for mexc for ape swap for who for dcoin that's what i'm going to guess if you guys know more than me and know what these contracts are I'm not sure if BS check. Let's see if BS check. I don't remember if BS check have an Ethereum, an Ethereum section. Yes, it does. So let's click on F and let's paste the address in here and wait for that. While that's loading, we can go back to ether scan and i'm thinking that these are probably those different markets so they have to allocate a certain amount of tokens to these different markets just like we have kucoin here get io there but if you guys know what those are for just let me know and guys please remember to always do your own research come to your own conclusions because at the end of the day it's your money that's on the line guys please remember that your money on the line all right so Let's see, token sniffer. Let's jump back over to BS check to see if it's all right. So it says seam scam, and let's see why. <clears throat> all right, so 71 no WEF peer found. So it says 98.2% of liquidity has been burnt or locked, and here we see that 71% is locked in this wallet, and then 26% is in this um, locked in this wallet. And why BS Check is saying it seems like a scam is because it says no WS peer found. I'm not 100% sure what this means. I'm going to have to how would I say it now? I think the value of liquidity is probably only in how would i say this now in the token like a certain amount of the token is locked as liquidity instead of um liquidity in ethereum so that's what i'm thinking but i'm going to yeah wf i think that's what it means wf zero i'm gonna think that's exactly what they're talking about so guys please always do your own research come to your own conclusions at this point and then here we can see that the top wallet in this one is 1.1 percent and if we go to etherscan we can see that so guys please tell me if you have anything you found out anything about this token or anything like that that i probably have missed so guys please always do your own research come to your own conclusions and have a nice day